Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel if you're new here. I hope you're all doing okay. If you haven't already, please could you subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below, let me know what you thought about the video. A little spoiler, if you're looking for a really good beauty guru review, this isn't a video for you. But if you just wanna watch me test out some products and have a little laugh with me, then I really hope you enjoy that. Um, it's chaotic because that is me in a nutshell. Let's get on with the testing. Literally naked. Good old monster. First of all, don't judge me for the monster. It's sugar free though. I need some of that energy. Do you know what I mean? So I've already started off with my eyebrows. Excuse the happy birthday banner. I mean, it's September now, it's not my birthday anymore, but why not? Also, my skin isn't looking the best um, and I've got a bit of tan on my face, so it just sticks to the spots all the time, so. Let's get into the unboxing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury box. Um, obviously I bought it all myself. If we open the box. I have already had a peek inside, but that's literally it. I've got such bad chins. I should get this whole time. So yeah, that's the inside of the box. So you get a little Charlotte Tilbury leaflet. Oh, darling Rachel, thank you for shopping on charlottetilbury.com. You're welcome, darling. There she is, living her best life. So yeah, you get loads of information in there. And then it's all like this. I have already opened this bit though. Ta-da! I purchased the setting spray. Is that fixing? And it's the white tea of barley one, not the original one. Love the packaging already, On just on the box. I'm a sucker for packaging. I'll get into all the little bits in a minute. I just want to show you what I've got. So I got the setting spray. I got the airbrush flawless foundation. Here you go. And I also purchased, which comes bubble wrapped, I actually appreciate that because this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder, it's that one. At the end, I was absolutely buzzing, I ended up getting some free samples. So I got the Charlotte's Magic Cream and the Lightweight Moisturiser. And also when I went to the basket, it gave me a free mini Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's 7ml that one. Hello? Oh, there we go. Charlotte's Magic Cream. I'm so awkward, it's actually laughable. <laughs> and I also got the Full Fat Lashes 5 Star Mascara. And I needed a new mascara actually, so if it's any good, I'll let you know. Oh, look at that. I'm loving this packaging, it's bougie, I'll give you that. I might start off with the Magic Cream actually and see how that goes. Like I said, I've already done my brows. If anyone wants a video on how I do my eyebrows, just let me know. Um, I'll do that as a separate video. So, magic cream. Let's give it a whirl. Ooh. Is it going to make us today? Charlotte's magic cream. Instant turnaround moisturiser. Quite cute, actually. It just smells like a normal cream, to be honest with you. But I don't mind that. Does it smell? Ooh. Look at that. So you get free standard delivery when you spend £49, two free samples at checkout, and free Tilby treats with all orders over £80. I, I'm going to check how much I spent actually. So I spent £81.20 on that. So I literally just got the free gifts at the end, which was the cream and the moisturiser. I should say magic cream actually, shouldn't I? I bought the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the pressed powder together and they were like discounted like 55 pounds or something together and then i bought the setting spray separate for like 29 pounds or something i can't really remember sorry and i bought them separately because you can buy them as a set but it's not discounted it's like 95 pounds so you save yourself more money buying the foundation and the powder together and separately to the setting spray which i don't understand well if you get the big pot it's actually refillable 50 mil, 75 pounds. Imagine going through all those pots of moisturizer and using that day and night. 75 pounds. I can, oh, here we go. Magic engraving available. Now in a refillable, capital letters. 
glass jar. My award-winning famous instant turnaround moisturiser cocoons your skin in moisture for a hydrated, plumper looking complexion. Engraved for a magic, in capital letters, gift for everyone, capital letters. Bloody hell. Her size is product for five pound. That'd be 80 quid for a fucking moisturiser. That's mad. Well, let's see if I get my skin cocooned for a hydrated, plumper looking complexion, shall we? Don't take that much. Oh, I've not picked up enough there, no way. No way. That's like a statement saying, you're a prick. I'm not gonna let someone take me for a prick, no way. Take her another amount, like I picked up earlier. Sorry for the way I'm roughly applying my moisturizer. The magic cream is uh, offending you. It's better to see from here actually how much more glowier my skin is. And normally I use the Walida, is that is it? I don't know. The skin food anyway, I'm sure you guys must have heard of it by now. And I love that. And this is £10, right? And it gives me this nice look. Maybe a bit glowier. But the only thing I don't like it about it is how thick it is. Whilst the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is really lightweight, in my opinion. Well, compared to that one anyway. <sighs> Why did I have to like that? Oh no. It literally glides on your skin and it does feel so hydrating. I want to put more on but I can't do that, can I? I'm too poor for that. But this was a splurge for me, like I don't spend this much on makeup for myself but I was like, do you know what? It's discounted. Treat yourself, hun. Oh, my skin feels so smooth. I've not done any skincare today either, so this is the first thing I've put on my face. I do rate it to be fair, I see what everyone's talking about. I just don't know if I'd spend £75 on it. I don't think many people use primer to be honest. I don't really use primer, so I'm not going to for this one. I want to see how it performs on its own. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I picked up the shade 6 Neutral. I'll link it down below. Um, I normally use a website called foundation.com and literally you just put in like a foundation that you use and the shade you use and it will literally compare it to other foundations and the shade you'll be in those so hopefully this is a good match. And I'm going to use a clean foundation brush. This is the Peaches and Cream PC05. I can't speak today, if you can tell. What we think about the padlock necklace as well. I'm not a necklace wearer, but I'm obsessed with this. H&M 599 bugs. Probably need to give it a few pumps. Oh, I would say this is normally a bit too light, but my tan isn't as dark today. Oh, a lot comes out in one pump. Should we see how that lasts off? Stunning. Look done. I don't know if it's got a smell to it. Mm, it's okay. Maybe I've not used enough. My skin is not in good condition either, so that's good. This magic cream should be doing me some magic, no? Okay, it definitely oxidizes. Look at how much lighter it is on my chin. And then it goes darker on my face. Oh my god. What a Sula. <gasps> Sweaty upper lip alert. Quite what film that is. Come on. If you don't know, get to know. It's um, quite easy to blend actually. Oh, I didn't even read what this foundation is supposed to do, did I? It's good. This is meant to be a full coverage foundation with a flawless, oh, it's matte. Do you know what I should have used? I might try it next time. I normally use my iconic London Illuminator Drops because I don't really like a matte foundation anymore. So that's probably why I'm a bit like, because mm, I normally use the NARS Longwear Radiant foundation so yeah flawless matte long lasting finish apply your airbrush flawless foundation blending outwards from the center of your face for a flawless airbrush finish i haven't even doing that do you think that makes a difference um okay the rest is in a foreign language so i don't know that like, it's a very lightweight i'd say which is a good thing i'm gonna add some more foundation i'm sorry but this is just not enough for me this would be enough for the average person it's not as light as it goes on to actually quite a good color i don't know if it'd be too light for when i'm actually Look at those knuckles um for when i've got my fresh tan on i always come on here without fresh tan sorry I'm going to have to say another pump on each. I'm sorry, I am a full coverage. Like, it does say full coverage, doesn't it? It does. I don't think I use enough. I literally just stopped recording. What are you playing out? 
Let's try again. Let's put a bit more. Let's see if it's buildable, shall we? Ooh, I think it is. See how much lighter it goes on like that, though? Defo oxidizers. So be careful of that. But I think this is a good shade as well, actually. Oh, spots. What spots? Always get the ears, I think, because if you're going to be orange, you don't want an orange face and a white ear, am I right? And I do bend it down my neck. I know a lot of people cringe at that. But when you got a bit patch fake tan going on, it's what we got to do. Okay, like now I feel like that's more than enough. How does that work? You definitely don't need too much then. I think the amount I used the first time would have been enough, but I need to cover up my skin and my spots because I've broken out quite a bit. Why is it flashing red at me? You should, you should have more charge than that. I might have to plug it in. Let's blend this foundation out and then try and start the camera. It probably fucking die on me, let's face it. Overall, I am actually quite liking this foundation. I just had to use enough. It's weird because it looks thick when you get it out of the pump, but it's really, it's not like uh, watery, but like it's blendable. Do you know what I mean? Do you have a little close up? I mean, obviously you can't, I can't hide like how bumpy and like sticky out in my spots going. What am I even saying? But covering them up wise, it's done a pretty good job. By the way, so if I breathe really um, heavily, um, I'm asthmatic if you didn't know. Um, I actually had COVID as well at some point. I'm alright now, I think. Although I think I got long COVID because um, I've not been right ever since. Um, but yeah, I have Rona, so that's great. I just feel like everyone's just going to catch it now. And then once you've had it, you've had it. I need to go and get my second jab, though, just in case. I just find it weird, right? All year round, I, I haven't had it. I get my jab two weeks later got right now no one else around me had it either like honestly my luck is just shit everyone will tell you that right hopefully that works it did die on me like i said my luck is shit but i just looked at my face in the daylight in the bathroom and i actually really like it the foundation like as much as it's matte it does make my skin look really skin like though it doesn't look cakey and i do really like it and i think i love it if i had my illuminating drops but anyone who likes matte makeup um but doesn't want it looking drying this is perfect why does that look so orange Orange. It looks like I've put bronzer on my face with that. But um, if you like dewy makeup like me, if you say dewy, I don't really know. I'd add things like, you know, illuminating drops, Max Strobe Cream, that type of vibe because yeah like I said, it's a bit too matte fine. But it's a matte foundation, so it's doing what it says on the tin or the bottle. Sorry, I've not even shown you the packaging on this one. Put the lid back on. I think our vibe is like rose gold. And then yeah, it's all really nice. A frosted bottle as well, which I can appreciate. I think that looks really expensive. With, you know, the rose gold writing and purple, was it? I don't know. Could be colourblind. But yeah, no. It looks a lot lighter, the foundation in the bottle as well. But yeah, I think that packaging's beautiful. Stunning. Charlotte Tilbury top. Oh look, you can see me. And then the shade is at the bottom, just like any other foundation. Shade 6 neutral. If you fake tan like me, could be a good shade for you. So I am now going to put on some concealer. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Almond. I love this, very full coverage. Oh, and this is the PC15 like, Peaches and Cream brush. I forgot you can't blend stuff that well over matte makeup. Blend that all up. Right, I'm just going to use this. Real Techniques contour brush to use the powder under my eyes and I can't remember where I put it actually. Found it. Ooh. Go on Charlotte. Yes, that is really nice. <laughs> Sounds so sarcastic. Rose gold packaging again with the Charlotte Tilbury logo down here. I don't normally like rose gold but it's making it look quite bougie. I'm not going to lie. Okay, that was actually a little bit open. Did you hear that? I just shut it. Good. So you got a little mirror, do it on the go maybe if you put it in your handbag. I'm not that type of girl, I won't lie. Um, I'm not that advanced, but if you are, well done. I got this in two medium. That's the shade. So for an all over perfecting finish, brush on to entire face, brushing up and out. And I won't be brushing up and out, really. Um, I just want to try it under the eyes first. I feel like a lot picks up on the brush. Let's give it a go. And also, if it looks creased, I can't help it. I have really creased under eyes. Like, I've had it for so long now. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. It's not the makeup doing that. And I can't test it on the creasing because of that, so sorry. I'm literally so sweaty right now. Let's pat that down, shall we? I actually really like this. It's, it's airbrushed, like here, like it's it's actually airbrushed my pores, if you can see. Like I look, you can see my bags, but I can't help that. I look a bit more awake. 
and flawless darling no i won't go that far but i think it's really good i'm just gonna whack it all over my face now why am i using this brush i should just use my powder brush now a lot picks up on the brush you know which i like tell you what if you like matte makeup this is nice that it doesn't look cakey matte like it's it's flawless mate flawless matte but i need a bit of dewiness and that not just be in my sweat so this might lock in my sweat actually i was gonna say i'd use my iconic setting spray but i need to use that setting spray i'm just have to put highlighter all over my face and there is a lighter shade than this which is one fair i think and then there's two other i'm sure there's a three and a four i don't really know if that's a good shade range but then again for powder i feel like you don't really need that many and i think the foundation shade range is actually all right don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. I'm just gonna do my bronzer and blusher. <gasps> I forgot to do my cream bronzer. Oh well. Bronzer. Suck those cheeks in, baby. Ooh. I really wanna know, right? How do people bronze or contour their jaw? Because like, as you can see, not blessed i've got the chins and like if i put bronzer on my jaw i've just got like a fucking orange neck like it's just it's not a good look so yeah if you haven't got a jawline how do you do it thanks for that really appreciate it apart from getting you know jaw filler but i feel like i'd look fatter if i got jaw filler like i'd look square oh my god oh instant regret sorry about the lighting it's sunny behind me how do people like film youtube videos and just be fine because like i like sweat under pressure and like i'm sweating putting this on i look look at my hair like, that's wet that's a violation violation that's very muggy i think that powder is helping though because like you know you feel you're getting a sweaty upper lip but it's not actually dripping like it was earlier that was grim Mm -mm. I'm gonna use the spray now and then I'm gonna find my eyelashes so then it can set in. So I will read this now. Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for magic makeup that looks just applied. No melting, no fading, no creasing. Hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. Now I don't know if I do it six to eight inches, but um, I'm gonna spritz this all over my face and see what happens. But I mean, I don't know if anyone's seen this viral, but like I've seen people put like eyeshadow on like their arm and then spray this, let it set and rub it and no transfer. And there's no transfer, why can't I speak English? I really want to see what this smells like though. Ooh, so again, this is like frosted, but obviously, it, oh, the foundation was glass. I don't know if I said that or not, probably not. Um, obviously this isn't glass, it's plastic, but it's a frosted bottle. I think that packaging's beautiful. I can't wait to try this. So let's see what the mist is like on this bad boy, shall we? That mist, it smells like holiday. Bit baby powdery, but a bit holiday -y. Does that make sense? Oh, get me to barley. If that's what barley smells like, I'd be bloody living there. So yeah, white tea of barley. I don't even know if it means the place, but let's spritz this. Oh my God, it's such a fine mist. See that in the light. It's hydrating, isn't it? Well, that smells insane. I didn't want to like this stuff, you know? As much as I didn't want to waste my money, I thought I'd at least get the foundation shade wrong or fuck it up or something come broken or I just hate it. But oh, I'm loving it all at the minute. I'm gonna wipe my foundation lips off. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what though, this does set, well, I'm not saying the set's broken, it's not really set in place yet, but just the powder and the foundation, because normally I can wipe my foundation lips off no problem, but I'm having to actually scrape here. I've scraped a bit too uh, overdramatic, but you know, like really push hard. This is actually an exfoliation wipe. I'm sorry it's wipes, guys, okay? Hopefully one day I won't use them, but allow it today. Uh. Oh, I thought that was a sweaty upper lip, but now I've put too much highlighter on, that's why. <laughs> this is the Lottie London Oil Slick in vanilla, is it? Vanilla Whip. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Oh, I can't wait to take that down. I completely forgot, I've got a mascara, haven't I, to try? Lovely, so yeah. This is the Full Fat Lashes Five Star Mascara. At least it's black, actually, I didn't check that. Glossy black. Oh, that's a really big brush. I used to love big mascara um, brushes, but now I just put eyelashes on. I don't, but sorry, I'm going to have to be that YouTuber because um, Canon doesn't like it. 
But I mean, the bristles are nice. We'll see, but I normally use my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara because it makes my bottom lashes look nice. But this might work better for someone else. My eyelashes are shit. Like, they are flat and short. I mean, I get a mascara just to put mascara on to press my strip lashes with my normal ones. So I don't really care if it doesn't do much as long as it does for my bottom lashes. But look, <laughs> this is literally doing nothing. So I wouldn't quite say five star. The Bad Girl Bang one does a bit better. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, the mascara didn't really transfer, so that's actually alright. I hate when you put mascara on and you just need to sneeze. Why? So yeah, I don't really care that it's not doing that much because, again, it was free and I put straight lashes on, but my normal mascara that I use does better than that. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy with this, no. If I had to wear no strip lashes. Just use these ones I've found. I don't know what they are, but we're just gonna put these on. And I use the Duo Lash Glue. And this is the clear white one, um, which is latex free. It's the best one. You haven't got to sit and wait for it to dry. It doesn't smell like fish and it's less harmful. I'm just gonna put that on the lash band. I'm sorry, I will try better one day on a tutorial review, whatever, but it's my first one. I'm very um nervous, sweating buckets, and I have got somewhere to be, and shock I'm running late. But you know, we'll get there. But if I'm making you laugh, please give it a thumbs up, because at least if I'm making someone's day, that's what I care about, do you know what I mean? I need a new phone. I'm waiting for the iPhone, I think it's an iPhone 13, I'm not really sure, just come out. I think I'm going to treat myself because I've got the iPhone 8 Plus, if you didn't know, and it's just, it's fucked really, to be completely honest. I don't know another way to put it um, other than that. And my language is disgusting, but take it or leave it, all right? Lovely. I'm going to apply this mascara on my bottom lashes a minute. Yeah, I don't really like this big brush, I'm not going to lie. But it is picking up my eyelashes quite well, but I can feel it gripping them as I go along. You see that? To be fair, I don't know why I'm going on about the makeup because as much as like that foundation's full coverage, I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is supposed to be a natural brand. So a girl that really isn't natural and doesn't like natural makeup is probably not the best brand for me. So I can't really complain it, you know, things looking natural or whatever. Because it's such a big brush, I have got it all under my eyes. I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, like I said, I can't really deal with a big mascara brush. So, finally, we've got through that chaotic video and review. Um, my overall review of Charlotte Tilbury is the products that I've bought I absolutely love. My least favourite is the Full Fat Lashes Mascara. But then again, that was free. I didn't pick that. So, I mean, it's nice to have a little free sample. I'll probably use it just to use it up, have a mascara for my bottom lashes. But I don't think it's anything special in my opinion. The Magic Cream I really rate, um, which was a free gift as well i thought that was really nice it was really made my skin like nice and glowy but lightweight i've got to say as well the foundation did smell a bit like sun cream actually or like spa rest vibes um which is really nice i really love the packaging on everything the foundation i think the shade for me is just right um i'll link that website down below as well for you the foundation.com to find your shade i found it really helped me but yeah i love the foundation i want to like I said, add a bit more dewiness to it, add some illuminating drops. I may use my um, Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray as well in between, like maybe after I've applied my foundation, um, just to give it a bit of life. But as you can see, you can like, I've sort of brought it back to the life of some highlighter, but again, it does state it's matte makeup. I've used matte foundation, a mattifying powder, like it is gonna be matte and it does what it says. The setting spray, it smells incredible. And I will give you guys an update as well. I'll give it a wear test and let you guys know how it's lasted and any updates which will be at the end of the night i'll show you guys that but yeah overall i actually love it all i think it's great if i do my own little adaptation to it to make it less matte yeah i think i'm gonna be using this on the regular well i say that i am poor so i will not constantly be using it but i would definitely recommend it so yeah i'll speak to you guys in a bit when i've worn it for a few hours and i'll give you the updates Hey guys, so it's now nearly been six hours as I basically finished this makeup for about five o'clock. Now it's nearly 11 o'clock at night. Is that gonna, I'm sorry that I have to keep doing this hand thing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but yeah. It's nearly 11 o'clock at night. So I just wanna do a little review of what it's been like on my face for like six hours. See me guys in. Ooh, I'm just whispering because I live with my family and they're all asleep. Overall, I feel like it's, 
lasted really well. The only thing is, again, I didn't really rate the mascara. It's sort of smudged. Look, you can see how creased my under eyes are, and actually, it's a joke. The mascara is like smudged under my eyes a bit, and I don't think that's down to any other bit of the makeup apart from. I mean, I might have wiped my eyes, who knows? But yeah, I think the mascara, I don't really rate it, but it was free, so I'll probably keep using it till it's like empty. The makeup, I think, has stayed on like pretty flawless apart from around my nose area here. But like I have been blowing my nose a bit today and like been a bit sweaty around that area because it's been quite muggy outside, quite hot. Obviously I've worn this for like six hours and I've been blowing my nose and no top ups or anything, not powdered it down or anything like that. So I've seen you guys back out there. My overall opinion is, yeah, I still approve Charlotte Tilbury 100%. I think she's done an amazing job. Um, not that I know her personally. Imagine. Her packaging, I've already got it dirty, it's great, is stunning. I love the rose gold feature. I'd highly recommend these three products and the magic cream, actually. So I'm really happy that I got that for free as well. Sorry about the chaotic video, but if you did enjoy it and found it a bit funny, please like and subscribe. And even comment down below, let me know what you guys think, what you guys would like to see in the future future maybe but yeah that is it for this video so thank you very much and i'll love you and leave you guys thank you.